reported Liverpool transfer target Enzo Fernandez is now in direct talks over a move to the Premier League rival Chelsea. That's according to journalist Fabrizio Romano. Posting an update on Twitter this morning, the transfer expert claimed that Fernandez has already given Chelsea a yes ahead of a potential move. Talks with Benfica are now reportedly set to commence. Chelsea are now in direct talks with Benfica for Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea wants to offer a huge fee instead of paying really close in one solution, wrote Romano. Benfica always ask full 120 million euro, around 105 million pounds link close. I understand Enzo already said yes to Chelsea, LFC or MUFC made no bid as of now. This looks like bad news for Liverpool's pursuit of the World Cup winner. Having just shelled out a decent chunk for Cody Gekpo, you cannot imagine the Reds will look to match Chelsea's offer this month. With such a huge release clause in his contract, Enzo isn't going to come cheap, not at all. Still, just as they were when Manchester United moved for Kirkpo, perhaps Liverpool will be jolted into action by Chelsea's proactive approach. Game over for Fernandez and Liverpool Some fans will no doubt be disappointed to hear this news on this final Friday morning of the year. But there could well be some silver linings here. Chelsea are also said to be in the race to sign Liverpool's top midfield target Joe Bellingham. Despite their decent resources, they are nothing like as well back as they previously have been under Roman Abramovic. There is really no way that they can afford to go for both Bellingham and Fernandez. That should mean one less competitor for the Borussia Dortmund man. Also, when you think about it, the fee that they'll have to pay for Fernandez is pretty outlandish. Yes, he's a huge talent and is only going to get better. But paying over 100 million portling for a player with such little experience is still a big gamble. That isn't the kind of gamble that Liverpool usually take. It's clear that there is interest in Fernandez from Anfield, though. But that interest has likely been hugely complicated by just how good the Argentinian was in his nation's World Cup trium. Where the 21 years old could previously be seen to be a short kind of signing, that is clearly no longer the case. So, Liverpool may just have to concede defeat in this one. They still need two or three midfield signings, but maybe now is the time to focus energy elsewhere. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.